Like we always do, I want to welcome the entire universe to this edition of Branded After Dark. I am Branded. And I am Sweet Erin. And tonight is going to be one of those nights. We got a lot of stuff for y'all. And I'm just, first off, I want to shout out all the people in my states, all my states out there listening. That's massive Black Street. Tony Braxton fans, because we got a later on, we got a we got an interview with 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 her that was done. Um, so we gonna have a lot of fun. But up first, I mean, we got overseas people. So I want to shout out all you China, the, the 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 Japan, China, all you people out there, Australia, Germany. It, I mean, it just it just goes without saying. Sweet Aaron, we got we got the world on lock tonight. I'm just yeah, saying. we do. They know where it's and, at. Indeed, indeed, and a lot of and a lot of people want to hear from this man because uh, you know, like I said, there's a lot going on that we are definitely going to talk about. Um, and I want to I want to welcome the I want to welcome the dude that you know helped a lot of us become dads. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say he he was the <laughs> he was the main catalyst to to us becoming instant parents, you know what I'm saying, when the ladies put on any black street joints out there all over the world, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but you know, the ladies make felt a certain kind of way when they heard black street music and you know what I'm saying, Chauncey had a lot to do with a lot of kids being born. So I wanna I wanna welcome my man Chauncey Black of Black Street music icon in the building. Chauncey, what up, bro? Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. I'm here in the back you know, I called in at a I called in here at eleven oh three on the nose, you know, as soon as the screen <laughs> went down. I, I hit the button and I immediately got to my people. So hey, I, I just wanna say, man, I it's a pleasure being on the phone with you guys. This is my first big time interview like this ever in my career. I, I I'm just letting y'all you guys know. So I, I, I just appreciate the love and support and, and you know, it's just it's just amazing right now. When you when you say career man, that that kind of means a lot to me. Like we're we're kind of like the, the 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 first ones to get it. Cause I mean, it's just like I said earlier, and you heard me say it. I mean, you know, you you helped a lot of us become dads. You know what I mean? And you helped you helped a lot of us, a lot of us out relationship wise with the music that you kick. So with all the countless the music, you know, the hits, the videos, mm-hmm. the tour memories and stuff yeah. like that, man. I'm I'm glad you I'm yeah. glad you here kicking it with us, man. So thank you. Uh, no problem, man. You know, let's let's get it on. Whatever, whatever the questions may be, anybody can ask me anything they want to ask me, and I'm just gonna keep it so positive and 100% real, and let them know what's really, really, really good. Okay. Well, we gonna we gonna do that. But first, let me let me, me kind of lightweight tease a little people out there because I know a lot of people want to know all the juicy details. But let let me start off by first telling you, thanks, bro. Thanks for the music. Oh no, oh, you know no, what I'm saying. No. Thanks for the thanks for the music, y'all. Still, you still kicking. You know what I mean. Like a lot of people, no, a no, lot of people don't say thank you first. So let me let me be generous and gracious and be the kind of guy that I always feel like you know what I'm saying by saying thanks, man. Thanks for the music. Thanks for helping me become a dad. Right. Hey, you, thanks, you're bro. Very, you're very welcome. <laughs> let me let me say that in second to that. You're very <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I, hey, I want to say made a thank you to you. Off my own music, you understand? Right, right, right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, hey, it right. couldn't be, it couldn't be done no other way, man. It couldn't be. So, right. yo, right. for real. Right. And Aaron, you said you wanted to thank him too. So you, you just, absolutely, you just go. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, well, go ahead. I, I talked y'all, you know, offline. I mean. The, the the sweet nostalgia that you have, you know, that I have connected with you is just ridiculous. And, yes, that's a word I make up, ridiculous. Erin <laughs> vocabulary, just, that's her language. Yes, that's, that's her language. language. So, I mean, I, I've been a, a fan ever since the beginning, and, you know, right. I, I just I thank you so very much for taking the time to call us and, and set the record straight with everybody out there that, that's wanting to know what's going on with you guys now. Okay, no problem. You know, when you when you first reached out to me, you know, I I just 
you know, it's just a shame that other people that are, are much, you know, more legendary than myself, you know what I mean, don't take the time yeah. to, to, to talk to, you know, real people, and, and that's what I got from you, you know, and that's what I'm getting right now from, you know, your whole team here is, is just positive and and it's just good talk, you know what I mean? And, and you guys believe in real music that definitely needs to come back to the forefront, oh, yeah. you know? Indeed. Yeah. I second that. And third, and fourth, and fifth, that <laughs> whole notion <laughs> right there. Wait a minute. I want to get in and, on that, too. <laughs> and we're going and we're gonna talk about that, too, because, you know, what, what you said is so true, but we're going we're gonna to get into that a little bit later. But let, let's, just, let's just start off by this, because... You know, there's a lot of chatter going on, not just online, but, you know what I'm saying, in people's, uh, you know, music box, so to speak, as far as what is going on with Blackstreet, what is going on with Teddy Riley, what is going on in general. So from your words to all your fans out there and all the Blackstreet fans, give us as much as you can give us the 411 on What's Up. Well, this, this, is, this is What's Up, you know. Teddy Riley, Chauncey Black. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Just I'm gonna just be so honest with it. We are brothers, man. Like we are cut from the same claw. Like I know him, and he know me. You know what I'm saying? Like we know each other. We're brothers. You know, brothers go through things. Brothers fight. Brothers do a lot of things, and. You know, I, I just know so much about him, so I can I can understand where he is in his life right now. You know what I mean? As far as right. his career being one of the greatest producers of all times. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, you know, and I learned a lot from Teddy. Like, he's the, he's the dude that put me on into the game. It was him, you know. He gave me my first opportunity of, of writing records with Black Street, you know, no one else would. He he, shoot of the second album, um, another level. Teddy gave me all my publishing back. I remember when we first when I first signed with Black Street, he took he had, if you wanted to get down, you had to get fifty percent of your publishing up. That was a sacrifice everybody took. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But after the second album. When when Dave wanted to go and do a solo and Levi, we got rid of him. Teddy saw that I was still there. I was the loyal dude there. You know what I mean? And he right. just gave it gave me all my publishing back. I didn't ask for it back, but that's just that's just the type of dude that I am. You know, I'm I'm so loyal. I was so loyal to Black Street, man. I always thought I was just overexposing Black Street because I was the only original original member that has been there through all the albums you know what i mean mm -hmm. I, I, I at one point in my life i was like oh, man i gotta do the solo thing because i'm just so overexposed in black street everybody always know okay it's good if teddy and chauncey there we good you know what i mean right it was, it was it was always pictured like that but long long story short you know Teddy, Teddy's almost 50 years old now, you know. He, 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 he's dealing with uh, a sickness that he has is, is the thyroids. And if anybody ever read up on thyroids, you know that, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just a, you know, mood swings and all type of different things happen when you don't take your medication. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, he that's where he is right now, you know, and, and I, I, I kind of, I sympathize, I, I, you know, I, I sympathize on that because, you know, sometimes he, you know, he he does things that he really don't mean, you know, just like this, this song, he really doesn't mean it, you know what I mean? He, he, I know what he, I know him, you know what I mean? I, I know him a lot better than anyone, and that's why I've, I've always been the one always there do all of the issues and everything. And I'm not going to put it 100% on his thyroid, but mm -hmm. let's say, let's say, let's give it 80, 85% is that his thyroid, what's going on. You know, he's, okay. he's, he, he's very, he's so mood, he mood swings and just, 
you know, anything could go wrong with him and he'll he'll flip. It's about when when it's it's just he has to stay on his medication. You know? Okay. Right. Right, and then and then it's and then it's, there's you know his life as far as whatever whatever relationship he's in. It's just a whole big deal with him. That that's something that other people. That's why we we all just need to really really pray that he he get help and see that for himself because you know I'm just one person that might say that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right, right. To him. But you know you got all of the yes men around him that ain't even ain't even questioning him on that level. You know. Okay. If if I come at him, you know I'm Chauncey. I'm his younger brother, so he ain't trying to hear nothing his younger brother got to say. You get what I'm saying? Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Let me let me you know, ask so, you this. Let me ask you this uh-huh. because there there's that there's that song that that came out. I wasn't really too too sure how recent it was. I. Did a little homework throughout this week, and I heard it. And, it. and it seemed like, you know, like I said, I mean, you know, you're you're pretty much on the inside. Like you said, you kind of know the man's dealings as far as what's going on. But, I mean, he has that song, what was it, was Teddy's Jam 4 or something like that or whatever, where he, you know, he's kind of going in on you, and he's go- not just you, but he's going in on Aaron Hall. He's, it seemed like he has a problem with Black Street yeah. and Guy. Like, what were no, your thoughts when you first heard that? Well, when I first heard that, I said, this this is why he put that song out. See, you know, Guy, which was, let's talk about the trademark on both groups, right? Mm-hmm. The reason why he's pissed off at Aaron is because Aaron Hall owns the name Guy. Okay. Trade. So that means Aaron Hall can go and do Guy shows without Teddy Riley. Right. The reason mm-hmm. why he's mad at me as well is because Chauncey owns the name Black Street. Because correct correct me if I'm wrong, I, I read this too and you can definitely say yes or no, but uh he let it expire and you went in and picked it up and bought the name back, right? Exactly. Okay. And that's just that's just from him not handling his business what he you know how he's supposed to do it you know instead of right you know running around doing whatever whatever he, he, he's not protecting his brands that he created mm-hmm. you get what i'm saying so right. you mm-hmm. know it's but you got people like us that that as far as me and my um aaron and myself that you know we we help made those brands as well teddy so you know we we swooped them up but we would love to work with you only on only if it's fair. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like right. you know, I told Teddy. Um, I remember back uh, what two years ago, right? I was sitting in Virginia, you know, with my family and everything. You know, Teddy knew I owned the name Black Street. Came back. He came to Virginia. You know, we sat down. We talked. We broke bread. We said, we know we. We forgive each other for whatever, 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 you know. I act mm-hmm. like nothing even happened. I wanted to get back and do business, and let's do this new Black Street album. So, boom, mm-hmm. Teddy came to Virginia, mm-hmm. came to Virginia to um, so we can, so I can give him 50, 50% of the name, mm-hmm. right? So I did that. So then, you know, it. I think he did. You know, I think he came down with the wrong intentions when he came to Virginia to to try to get the um, 50% of the name back. You know, okay. so he, he signed it over, but the only reason why he wanted to do it is because Mark and Eric, he was with them before he came back to Virginia to talk to me about putting the group back together. So what was happening, Mark and Eric was performing as Blackstreet overseas and doing shows with Teddy in the States. Hmm. So the only person that could shut them down is who? You. Exactly. So Teddy <laughs> Riley comes to Virginia. <laughs> we sue Mark and Eric. I can send you guys the final order that we got on Mark and Eric. Mm-hmm. And shut them down. From using the name Black Street. 
Okay, we shut them down, right? Mm-hmm. And Teddy says, okay, Chauncey, um, you know, I want you to come move to Atlanta, and we're going to do this Black Street album. Okay, I said, okay. But, you know, we got we to gotta get some other members, you know, because we done shut Mark and Eric. We can't, you, you know. <laughs> right, yeah, it can't be a two-man right. group, yeah. right? Right, we can, you know. So what we did was we went and found um, Lenny, um, Lenny, no, we we went we went and found Monty um, Monty Mitchell. He's from North Carolina, and Lenny Howell. He's from Jersey. Right. Okay. Signed them to Black Street Entertainment. Right. Okay. So me and Teddy was in the agreement. You know, Black Street Entertainment was my thing. Teddy came and got me. Okay, we signed. I gave him his fifty percent in our operations agreement. Right. So mm-hmm. then, come to Atlanta. We doing we doing the album. We doing the album. Records are hot. Records are hot. So now it's time to get the deal. So now, okay. Teddy wants to switch it up because Teddy's seeing that okay, I gotta go. I gotta talk to Chauncey before I can do anything as far as signing a group to a, a label, da, 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 which is, that's what we signed up for in our agreement. We do this together. It's 50-50, Teddy. You, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If Black Street gets signed, Black Street's supposed to get signed to Black Street Entertainment. So now Teddy wants to bring up this situation. Well, Chauncey, I want you to sign your 50% over to TR Music Group. Hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Teddy, this is a conflict of interest, and it's in our operation agreement where you we can't do it. Like if I wanted to sign Black Street to 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 see Black Records, I can't do that against my partner. It, 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 you, you get what I'm saying? Like right. I, I will be relinquishing his fifty percent over to me. It'd be benefiting me. It won't be. You, you get what I'm saying? Right. You know, exactly. It's not going to be fifty fifty. Right, it won't be fifty fifty. It'd be it'd be Teddy has all I have to deal with I would have to deal with Teddy like I had to deal with him when I first got in the game. Because mm-hmm. every I, we was signed to him. Mm-hmm. I said, No, we can't do that, Teddy. And it's in our agreement that we can't do it. Read paragraph B, whatever it is. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, in that, and, you can't and do on top it. of that, that's just like going backwards too. It's like why would you want to do that? Right, right. It, and it didn't it didn't make sense. So you know, Teddy being the person kind of person he is, he 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 thinks I'm insulting him now. He thinks, oh, Chauncey is is being greedy. He wants all the money to himself. No, that's not it. I'm I'm just I'm I signed up for fifty fifty. So that's that's the rule book I'm playing by. What we have mm-hmm. on paper. That's it. I'm not going no, no. I'm not. You know. I'm not. You're not going to sign Yeah, I'm not asking for no more than what it is. You, you, you get you get what I'm saying? Right, right. Right. And so he now he he deserve, he thinks he thinks I don't deserve equal as him because you know he's super duper Teddy Riley. Okay, mm-hmm. you've done that, but let's let's look at where you are, Teddy. Teddy, <laughs> let's let's let's. Let's come down. Let's come down. All right. Let's come, come down to earth. Let's come down to 2003. You haven't, you haven't, and this is real. You haven't had a hit since '97. Okay. No dick. Since we keeping it real. Since we keeping it real. That's real, right? We're keeping it yeah. real. That's, that's where okay. we are. Right, All right. Right. You know, your first record you come out with to the world is a diss record. That's not smart at all. Mm-hmm. If you if you if you want to shut Chauncey down, come out with a hit record. But that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, and also let's keep it real too, Chauncey. He he must have felt a certain way when he got in the studio and started working on the diss track. I'm just saying it usually don't work like that with with R and B groups and names and this and that. So you know, I saw Black Street and Guy is like, ooh, you know, he feel a certain kind of way about that though. My yeah, it's, it, and, 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 and it, it, it is, it's, it's, but it's really about the control. He sees that he doesn't have the control like he used to have it, only because we've matured and watched him 
make his his mistakes and capitalize off of them. But right. That's not bad. That's not that's not saying we're bad people. That's saying we're we, we're turning into older and wiser businessmen in this game. Mm-hmm. And right. all we want you to do, Teddy, is play fair. That's right. it. Right. We actually we asking you for nothing else. Mm-hmm. And let me because, and let me ask you this. And let me ask you this real quick, Chauncey. Chauncey Black of Black Street is our guest on Branded After Dark, and you know, um, you know, like I said, I, I heard the song, I listened to it. I mean, you know, it's a lot of references saying that you know he made you, he made Black Street. I mean, you know, I, I don't know. Last time I checked, he he couldn't help you sing, right? I mean, I'm just throwing it out there as a fan first, right? Like, did he help you sing? I don't think so, right? Right? Nah, he, he helped me sing. <laughs> I mean, you know, what, 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 did, did he help you? <laughs> he, he did, did come up, he did, you, I, as far as I know, you came out the womb singing, right? So I'm just saying, bro, like, you know, I don't think he made you sing. That man, that man is a great vocal vocal producer, oh, of course. like that. Of course. You know what I'm saying? He he, he knows of how course. to get the best out of anyone. He he Listen, I was the worst in the studio, straight up. Tell you, I've always sung flat. I'm a flat singer, but, hey, I get it done. You get what I'm saying? So... I, I, I've learned from dude, you know what I mean? It's it's just it's just so hard to listen to some of his comments he said about me over the years when I've sung majority of the records on on right. each on each album. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just so mm-hmm. ridiculous to hear the things he says, you know. And and even even in the song, you know, like dude, we ain't had a Ferrari. In years, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, and then you say, I, you, you know, you said I filed bankruptcy, right? Mm-hmm. You filed bankruptcy too. Did, I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all heard that you filed bankruptcy. Right? Yeah, I mean, that, that's public knowledge, right? Right? I mean, right. you know, there's a lot of there's then, a lot of celebrities did during that point in time. So, you know, okay, yeah, you know, it's just it's just sad. Like, and then he talk about like in this song, Fly Whips, Teddy. You riding around in a S five fifty with Maybach symbols on them. Who's who? Who, who does oh. that? <laughs> oh boy! Ooh. I mean, I mean, just, I'm being real. You know, he keeping it real. Keep it. That's real. So so let me so so charge you five fifty <laughs> with Maybach symbol on. It. Cut it out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's real. I'm that's hey, not, nah, and you're supposed to keep it real. You you're supposed to keep it real on Brandon after dark and look. And and when when he came out to Virginia though, like was his main what what was his intentions? Like was he intentionally like, Okay, well, you know, Chauncey has the Black Street name now, so I need to you know, it, like I said, I'm paraphrasing it. So was he like, "Well, I need to kiss his ass so I can get fifty percent," or you know, what was his mindset when 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 that whole transaction came about? And no, well, his like I said, when you dropped the lawsuit on him. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't even think he. I don't even think he's thinking about the lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? But I I I think I think once. Once he's he's gonna know his real once I'm sitting right across from him in court. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's gonna really know his real because right now, you know, it's it's just I, I, I just know him, you know, he's just sitting and trying to get out of it or whatever or whatever, whatever the whatever the you know, trying to put all of his team together to to but he just he just really when he put out this song and all of this, man, he just put himself in a deeper hole when we go to court. I'm serious. Well, do you I think, mean that? Do you think? Do you think that after, you know, he comes to grips that you know he is getting sued over this or whatever that he might mm-hmm. look and and be ready for a re- reconciliation with you? Well. Maybe so, but you know the the rules gonna have to be so strict. You know what I'm saying? It, right. It, it, for for me to for me to really really do it, like because I didn't think this would happen with with our agreement right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, he don't supposed to be performing without me. I don't supposed to be performing without him. Like, 
he's breached he's breached that. So, you know, maybe a federal order will help the situation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As long as it's some some really really serious rules in it on how we deal business, and you know, you know, we we ain't gotta like each other on stage or nothing, but we we can do business and still right. do what and give the fans what they want. You know what I'm saying? And I I applaud all my Twitter fans and and, and 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 my and and my and my fans and everyone because like they try, you know what I'm saying? Without mm-hmm. me even trying. Like they, they really, really tried. Like every time they they'd hit him up and say, Hey, Teddy, what's what's going on? Why Chauncey ain't there? This dude will block everybody. Right. Who are Yeah, he don't wanna hear it. He don't want you know you know, why is it a big deal that Chauncey isn't there? Because I was a singer, man. People people love me. And I, I love all my mm-hmm. fans. I, I'm I'm doing all the work. And listen, my passport, you know, last time I looked at it, I've been everywhere. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> can, so, can, you know, can I also say that since, since he is, you know, blocking a lot of black street fans and kind of alienating yeah. just that fan base in general, like, me and Aaron was trying to get him on like a few months back, and you know we were trying to do like a you know appreciation because like you said, and we all agree, Teddy Riley is a dope producer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One, one, one of the dopest. So you know we give him props mm-hmm. for that. So you know people on his team, you know what I'm saying? They saying what they say and do what they do and just stonewalling and saying that we're not good enough. So when I hear stuff like that, I was like, Psh, well, Ice Cube didn't think so. He thought we were good enough. Stevie Wonder did too. Deion Warwick does too. Chauncey Black does too. Saying? So I'm just I'm saying. I'm just free <laughs> free pre promotion. I'm just throwing it out in the wind. I'm just saying if if your fan base loves you and we got shows ready for you to say, hey, you know what? We love what you do and how you do. I ain't saying you got to kiss our ass and do it, but I'm just saying in general. Reach out to us. Let's network. Let's see what's going no, on. Do some more work to, on the we, station. We, we, we still- Listen, we're supposed to do it. We're supposed to humble ourselves and and do it because if it wasn't for you guys having me on this show to to really get the real and and you know you you guys are loved as well. You you, you get what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. we're supposed to do this. This is, this is why we get into the to, to the business is to meet people like you guys and and show the love and support back as well as you guys do it for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you, and I, you, you you had to buy that record. You know no, hey, 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 and, and, and made a baby right. off that record, and made a baby okay. off that record. I'm okay. just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> and all I'm I got to do is get on here, and, and all I all I got to do is get on and talk and and, and just keep it real. I do that all day. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No, I mean, you know, and, it, and, and, it's, and, and you know, I don't hold grudges. I just, you know, I look at it for what it is. And, you know, my thing is, my thing, especially at the end of that, at the end of the day, and the way the music business is, it's, it's always good to have outlets that is in full support of your your your, your brand, your legacy. You know what I mean? So, that's you know, right. hey, that's right. That's, right. that's the way I, I see it. So, it, it mm-hmm. Exactly. And, and the Black Street brand is so, it's such a, a huge success, you know what I'm saying? We can't, we can't just keep. You think I? You think I was tired of just seeing all of the members just change up like that? You know, that wasn't me. That was Teddy. Right. Teddy, yeah. Teddy was leading. He was boss at that point. You know what I'm saying? Teddy was signed. We, everybody was signed to him. You know, right. but you know, sometimes what was happening, the group members was looking at me, like, like Chauncey was getting them out of the group. That how, right? You know what I mean, it, it right? What happened? Crazy. What happened to the other original guys, though? What happened to the other original guys? What I mean, you know, because I know when when you said that, you know, you you and you and Teddy pretty much shut them down as far as per, performing and stuff like that. Like, what was their their big deal? Was it was their splintering from the group had a lot to do with Teddy, or was it just something in general? Well, you know, Mark and Eric. Is, is Mark and Eric just don't know enough about the business to really to really be in it. You get what I'm saying? And, and why okay. why I say that is because 
when when I got the trademark and I locked it down, right, and I was back in Virginia, I reached out to those guys. I said, hey, guys, listen, I give you guys a percentage in the group if if you come back and we let's put it together because I knew if I got Mark and Eric, eventually Teddy would come. You get what I'm saying? Right. Right, right. And then I would break off whatever percentage I had left with Teddy. And then we right. would stay together. You get what I'm saying? But you mm-hmm. know, those those guys were just you know, they were they were burnt so bad, you know, everybody take it out on Teddy, but they look at Chauncey like, Well, you know, Chauncey could have been part of that too, but that's his boy. You you get what I'm saying? And I understand, yeah. I understand that, but at the end of the day, Chauncey was as smart as just than a lot of the all, all of the members because I laid back, I observed, I took all of it, I took all of it in, you know what I'm saying? And I was there. The only person that was in the studio with Teddy making them records was Chauncey. It wasn't right. Mark and Eric and Dave and Levi because they didn't have that type of relationship with Teddy. But right. that's a, that's the relationship that I pursued with him. You get you get what I'm saying? Because I was right. so mm-hmm. hungry for I was so hungry for it. You know what I mean? I knew who I was dealing with. These guys, you know, was too busy counting Teddy pockets. Can't count Teddy Teddy Riley pockets. No one can. Mm. Mm. And what Charles was doing, Charles was counting his pockets. Right. And making sure and was- his family. Eat. You get what I'm saying? Right, and you was mm-hmm. already, you know, and you handling your business, and there's just like so many, and, and and you've always heard about so many people that just don't pay attention to their business, uh, their business right. etiquette, and sometimes you just got to handle it, and, and, you know, you might you, you might get some people it. that might be mad at you, but so what? It's business. You can't take pers- right. You can't take it personal. It's just, that's you just the way it is. Personal. Just like you don't right. Know you I had, right, I when I when I told Teddy I had the name Black Street, he took it in such a negative way. But I was telling him I'm protecting this for us, brother. Like you don't have to feel that way just because I have it because I wasn't feeling that way when you had it. Right. So you shouldn't feel any other kind of way because fifty really childish. 50, 50, yeah, exactly. Fifty fifty is fifty fifty. You can't you can't explain that no differently. Fifty fifty means we both have the control, not just right. Teddy Riley. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. At least you didn't do it, you know, fifty one forty nine. Yeah, you I could have did that. I could have said, Teddy, you know what? I want fifty one. You take forty nine. Mm-hmm. Teddy, yeah, I but want like seventy five. You take twenty five. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or I could have. I could have charged him for the fifty. Um, mm-hmm. give me um three hundred thousand for the fifty percent since you want it. Yep. Right. I ain't charging But you, you know, you 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 being look you looking at it as a brotherhood and you also looking at it on the on a yeah, business exactly. level, like, you know, okay, well let's just let's just go ahead and split it down the middle and then, you know, we can still make you know, make it profitable, make the Black Street name still something because of course, like, we all know countless hits um throughout exactly. Black Street's career, so it's a it's a profitability standpoint that it, I mean come on we, I mean there's a lot of ways you could spin it and, and instead of taking it personal you should just be like hey let's do what we got to do and make it happen right I mean exactly, at least that's what brother. I would do and that's if what, I was a member of Black that's, Street listen that's what I signed up for right right I could send you our operations agreement right now what you just said is what mm-hmm. I signed up for nothing else right. What Teddy's doing right now, out here doing shows without without me, he's breached his contract. It's illegal. Yep. He in yep. trademark infringement, straight up. There you go. Right. Uh, there you go. Because of greed. It, that's just because what it is. Greed. Yep. You Very know, greed. out here, you know, saying you can change Black Street. You can't. You don't own it. No. How are you going to no. change Black Street when you don't own it? 